So we're looking at a pretty typical Revit project template here. And you can see that in the browser, we've got a fairly basic display of our floor plan and ceiling plan and elevation views. As the project gets more complex and as we've added more views and more sheets, we want to have a way of describing those views in the browser that mimics the more typical convention for describing the sheets. So what I'm showing here with this graphic is what that might look like. Uh, for example, we might have our A200s describing our floor plans, our A300s describing our elevations and so on. To set this up in Revit, we have to first start by going to the Manage tab and creating a new parameter. So I'll click there and then select Project Parameters. And essentially what we're doing here is we're just creating a property that Revit will track and allow us to customize. And it's going to be uh, visible over here in the Properties window uh, down in this Identity Data section here. We'll get to that in a minute. So I want to start by creating that new project parameter by clicking on the Add button. And I want to name this new parameter Views. Down below, I'm going to select Type of Parameter and specify Text. And then below that, under Group Parameter Under, I'm going to select Identity Data. And this is what's going to ensure that this new parameter is displayed here in this section of the Properties window. Uh, the last thing I want to do before I click OK is just tell Revit that I want this new parameter to be, to be associated with the Views category. So just a quick summary again, name the new parameter, specify that it's a text parameter, and then group it under Identity Data and choose the Views category. I'll click OK two times to exit out of this, and we'll now be able to see that new field. So down below here in the Identity Data of the Properties window, I can see Views, and it's waiting for me to select Views and then create some categories for those views. So I'm going to choose level one over here in the browser and then hold down shift and select level two. And then over here in that new field that I've created, that new parameter, I'm just going to click and type in zero two and plan or plans. Okay. So at the moment, nothing's going to happen. Uh, the next step is I have to tell Revit to actually uh, use a new organization tool that will display these new view parameter categories over here in the browser. So to do that, I'm going to go to the View tab. And then over here on the right where it says User Interface, I'm going to drop down and select Browser Organization. And I'm going to create a new brow Browser Organization option. And I'll do that by just clicking on New. And, and I'm just going to give it a generic title like New Browser Organization. And I'll click OK, and then it'll ask me to make a few little edits to that new browser organization option. Uh, I don't need to do any filtering. And I'm just going to slide over here to grouping and sorting, and then I'm just going to group by and look for the new parameter. So group by, down here at the bottom, there's views. And again, that just matches up with this. And then I'll just click OK to accept that, and I'll click OK again. And now I'll just make sure before I leave this window to check this box here to specify that I want to use this new organization option. I'll click OK, and now you can see there's the new category there called 02 Plans, and you can see uh, a list here of the two floor plans that I've already put in there. Now, the other thing that it does when it creates this for the first time is it takes every other available view and just throws it in this category that's marked with the three question marks. So all the elevations and then the reflected ceiling plans and the site plan just get thrown into there. So I would just repeat the process and, for example, select Elevation East, hold down my shift button and then slide, uh, select the bottom elevation option, from the, which in this case was west. And then over here in the properties window under views, I'm just gonna type in 03 and then type in elevations. When I hit enter, you'll see that now over here in the browser, there's a new category called 03 elevations and there's all the elevation views that I just threw in there. Uh, if I, for some reason, had made a mistake, if I had missed one of these, uh, it's always, um, possible later on to just select that individual view and if edits need to be made you can just drop down here to this field under the views parameter and make the switch. When you make new views they'll just automatically be added to this category here with the three question marks. So if for example I clicked on the section tool and just dragged out a new section view you can see here that it just gets dropped into this three question mark section. Easy to switch I could just click on section one and then down here in my new parameter listed as views, I can just type in 04 and call this, let's say, building sections. And now you'll see that it adds that new category header and then it puts the new view in there. 
So again, just a quick way that we can uh, set up a project browser to mimic what we want to see in a project, which would be a display not only of the views, uh, but a set of views that matched up with our sheet numbering system. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know if you like what you saw and uh, consider subscribing. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.